Hi guys, uh, this is the uh, Fit Farms resistance band workout. All the techniques today can be repeated in various sets and repetitions to include strength, hypertrophy and endurance of the muscle. Today's session is in the 15 rep range and performed in a circuit to maximise fat burn. We will demonstrate the exercises in circuit form. Starting first with the bent over row. Note first of all with the row with the spine alignment in that prone position and then squeezing the elbows nice and high to maximize the contraction of the lats. I'm going to change the variation slightly now into the wide grip. So now the elbows come out to the side, maintaining the prone position. You can see the difference here as the elbows go wide to hit the upper back as opposed to the lower portion of the lat. The next exercise we're going into is the prone cobra position. This is going to be a nice held technique and as you progress you can move to the pulses. Once again the line spine, held position and pulse as you progress. Great strength for the rear delts and the upper back. The next technique a rear delts. Once again this variation is similar to the side lateral only from a prone position. Once again the aligned spine and then we're going to take it out to the side. There's the lift. There's the lift. Strong in the movement, set in the position, maintaining the strength in the quads, hamstrings and glutes and then raise to contraction of the rear delt. The deadlift is your next technique. Once again, lowering the bands as you can see Andy's doing that at the minute. And then we're just going to stand from that low position. This is the stiff leg by the way, so you can see the knees are just braced and then driving through the hamstrings and the glutes. This is the target area. The next one is the upright row. You probably remember this with the weights that you did at Fit Farms. This time we're doing it integrating the band. Once again the elbow high position is key. Bringing in all the shoulder area here. Nice and strong in the technique. The next one is the high pull. Once again into the half deadlift position and then drive into the high pull technique. Note the height of the elbow, not bringing in the forearms. The next one will be the bicep curl. Once again loosening the bands, getting the correct tension. And then keep the tummy nice and strong in the core. Keep the movement isolated and contract those biceps. Excellent. Okay, moving on, we're going to go to the kneeling position this time. And we're going to start with the shoulder press. There's going to be a few variations here that Andy is going to show you. Once again, maintain the aligned spine even if you're kneeling. As you push up here, because the weight is at the front, maximizing the work with the rear delts and upper back to maintain posture and position. And then we're going to move through to a variation. 
Here we're using the kettlebell as an anchor point, but once again anything that's very stable from the base will be fine. From here we're going into another press, once again from behind this time, this will hit the front delts nicely, nice aligned position and go through the full range of movement. Remember with the bands the tension is with the movement all the way through the range, very important. And I think we do have another variation. From here, as we're pushing forward, this will hit the upper chest, similar to an incline press. As you can see, we're extending out from the body. And from here, the next exercise is going to be the overhead tricep extension. Once again, you probably remember this from doing with the weights. Get the correct tension on the band into position, elbows high and then extend into the triceps moving on to the French press from the kneeling position once again get the correct tension within the band this time the elbows are slightly forward and we're pushing out with the elbows tucked tight in to extension. Once again there's a few variations with the bands just to get the right feel on the muscle. Changing now to the lateral raise. Once again this is keeping the tension all the way through on the side delts bringing in also the upper trapezius as well. Lifting out to the side, knuckles very parallel once again we'll demonstrate this from the front and out to the side just above shoulder level with the fist feel the contraction of the muscle all the way through the movement and nice controlled negatives once again into the front raise for shoulders once again we'll do this from the kneeling position Getting the right tension on the band and raising forwards, raising forwards. Just over the 90 degrees from the vertical with the arms will maximise the efficiency on the front belt and strong in the core from here. From here we're going to go from the row to kickback. So we're going to bring in the band behind the body gain the tension once again varying the position so you feel comfortable and you're maximizing the efficiency on the muscle bring in the row extend to kink back bring in the row and extend to kick back the next one is going to be the horizontal rotation. I see the variation here. This is great for the rotator cuff. Once again, the tension on the band here will be minimal or will be less than normal. Easy rotation. So you can see that we're into the elbow high position, more or less into the upright row, and then the horizontal rotation. Okay, that's all the kneeling work done. We're going to move on to legs now. We're going to go straight into the hack squat. Once again, vary the band position. Put the tension on. And then drive using the band as resistance on the standing. Using the weight at the back will maximise the effect on the quads. Note the aligned position of the spine at the bottom of the movement.
Then we're going to go to the deadlift position. Once again, the weight is now at the front, winding up the band as you can see. Weight is slightly behind the body this time. And then we're going to go nice and low and then drive to the deadlift. Rolling the shoulders at the back, driving the glutes through. Nice strong deadlift with the band. There's a change of variation now. We're going to go into the plie squats. Andy will probably demonstrate this from the front so you can see the nice wide leg position. Targeting the inner thigh and quads. Remember the back must stay upright in this position. Pop it the tension on the band at the top of the movement. And then you can see the nice D8, D plie. Knees pointing. Same direction as the toes. And you can see that's a great demonstration of the upper back position. And to finally finish off the circuit, we're going to go into lunges. This is your last exercise. Straddling this time. The anchor point. And then drive up through the lunge, putting resistance on the power positive. Once again, make sure the tension's right, you can see the corrections happening each time to maximise the movement. This is also done on both sides, obviously. So give it a go, everybody. Once again, we're working Andy to the max here. And give it a go. Once again, work in different rep ranges, or just work a few reps in each position until you get used to the techniques and we will see you again very soon. Thanks very much.